everywhere. So welcome again and thanks for being with us um, today. I am now going to hand over to um, my colleague Carolyn Gaju to moderate the next session that you're going to have. And uh, this is all going to be about digital inclusion in health. Caroline, the floor is yours. Thank you very much, Anne Rochelle. My name is Caroline Gaju, and in this segment, I'll introduce you to the work of four of our research competition teams. The four research papers focus on how effective deployment and use of digital technologies can help address some of the health challenges faced by underserved communities and vulnerable persons in our communities. The recent experiences from the COVID-19 pandemic have shown the urgent need to strengthen the digital health ecosystem and leverage digital technologies to deliver more effective and reliable health services. The integration and scale up of digital technologies in the health sector presents an opportunity to improve the quality, accessibility, and affordability of health services for all populations, including those in remote areas, to increase the resilience of the health systems and advance digital inclusion. During this session, we'll discuss the challenges in providing health services and propose solutions to ensure digital inclusion in health, and in particular, for those in rural and remote areas. Our speakers are as follows. Our first presenter will be Dr. Ki Hong Park, who is a research scientist at King Abdallah University of Science and Technology from the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, and whose research paper is on the network in a box to provide health services in remote areas. Dr. Park, you are most welcome. Our second presenter is Dr. Lassisi Salami Lawal, who is a senior research fellow from the Federal University of Technology in Mini, Nigeria, whose research paper is on telemedicine as a panacea to medical tourism in Africa, exploiting communications satellite technologies. Dr. Lawal, you're most welcome. Our third presenter will be Dr. Bennett Henry, who is a consultant and physician at A Medic from the Commonwealth of Dominica. Dr. Henry, you're most welcome. Our fourth presenter will be Dr. David Bucci, a senior lecturer at the Bruno University from the United Kingdom, and whose research paper will focus on digital health through telemedicine ecosystem against pandemics, epidemics, and natural disasters in sub-Saharan Africa. Dr. David, you are most welcome. Each presenter has 10 minutes to present their research work. And after all the presenters have made their presentations, a Q and A session will follow. And for our online participants, you can also type your questions in the chat. With that, let us start the first presentation with Dr. Park. Dr. Park, over to you, please. Thank you. Okay, thank you for introducing. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> thank you for introducing me. And uh, hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Kiyong Park, uh, working in King Abdullah University of Science and Technology. And I'm honored to present my work for the ITU connected to to recover competition in this forum. And uh, today I'm going to talk about uh, the digital inclusion for health service in the remote area, titled on the network in a box that provide health services in remote areas. So the outline of uh, my talk is following. The first, I'll introduce uh, my research teammate. And 
uh, brief the motivation and uh, objective are will be introduced and research methodology to formulate and the solve the, the our research problem will be followed by the research finding and the interpretation and finally some representation will be uh, addressed and I will conclude the talk the the our research team includes two uh, the two professors and me in two different universities in Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and United Kingdom. And principal investigator Mohammed Salim Alouni is the distinguished professor in electrical and computer engineering in KAUST. And uh, he is particularly the interested in, the, in the, the addressing the technical challenges uh, associated with the uh, uneven distribution and, uh, and use of information and communication technology in rural the disasters and, and hard to reach areas. And Yun Fei Chen, <laughs> Professor Yun Fei Chen is the leader in the School of Engineering in University of Warwick in UK. And he's the paying attention to the chal challenging issue of the network in a box solution to solve the, the, the technical challenges of, against the, the digital divide. So network connectivity is the, the key enabler for the digital evolution in remote health care, the distance learning, and the, the smart agriculture in the remote and rural areas. And the network solution should uh, serve the broadband service for the multimedia and Internet of, Th Internet of Things uh, data service for the sensing and disseminating the, the, for example, the health information in the telemedicine. But, uh, however, the, in the ma many of the rural and remote areas, ma many people are suffering from the insufficient network connectivity because of the low the average revenue per users due to the low income, low population, and the large coverage areas. So the cost-effective network so networking solution is required to, to cover the remote areas. So the network solution should be lightweight and portable to move according to the varying the network topology. And it is fast and easy to deploy uh, for supporting the public network on demand. Moreover, the network solution should be the flexible to adapt the network and the choose the supportive network such as Wi-Fi, the cellular and uh, IoT, net IoT network on purpose and interoperable with uh, existing network infrastructures as uh, partial network functions. So NIB standing for network standing uh, standing for network in a box is a uh, uh, potential possible potential cost effective networking solution, which is a single all-in-one uh, portable device consisting of all software, firmware, and hardware modules. At, at, at one device supporting, uh, supporting network functions for service provisioning and the backhauling in the network. So NIB can serve multiple access networks such as Wi-Fi, IoT, and cellular network. And it can be easily transported by the backpack and drone and the vehicle. So which means that the, this solution can be portable and uh, easy to change the deployment uh, according to the network demand. Oh, sorry. So with this sense, uh, in, in this project, we optimize the deployment multi-NIB network for broadband and health IoT service in remote areas. So in order to deploy the multiple NIB, we first know the, how the, net, the network users are distributed in the coverage area. So in, the users in the remote area are sparsely populated. So, so we consider deterministic uh, user distribution rather than the stochastic modeling. So we consider the clustered network model, 
where the users are located at one of the clusters, such as a small village, and the user distribution at each cluster follows the Gaussian distribution. And we consider two the data service for broadband uh, data and IoT health IoT data. And characteristic, characteristics of two data are different, and therefore two different data models will be applied. So first, the, the broadband service is rate-oriented without any consideration, so maximum data rate can be uh, achieved by CNN capacity uh, as shown in the red curve in the figures. On the other hand, the, the length of the, the health IoT data is very short and uh, maximum data rate can't be achieved. The, so as shown in the, red, the blue curve in these figures, the, the achievable data rate of the health IoT data is depending on the finite, the block length of the IoT data. So with this uh, user distribution model and rate model, we maximize the total network throughput for both broadband service and uh, health I IoT service. And to maintain the, the quality of the IoT, the health IoT data, we uh, limit the toler uh, tolerable delay and the set the data rate requirement for the health, data, uh, health IoT data for a given block lengths and the network bandwidth. By solving this optimization, we, we can determine the location of the NIB to be deployed and so association between the L NIB and the user and coding rate for IoT data. So we developed the iterative algorithm to provide the locally optimal solution to the optimization problems. And here is the, the example simulation result for uh, five the user clusters and four uh, NIB in, in, uh, with the, under these simulation parameters in these tables. And as shown in the sub figure on the uh, the top left, the first, the, the iterative algorithm is where it converges to the, the locally optimal values. And on the top uh, right figures, we, we show the NIB deployment and association for clustered user dis, uh, distribution. And, and the, the multiple NIBs are where deployed to support the, the different clu user clusters respectively and usually the, the NIB are deployed close to the, the, the broadband uh, user cluster to maximize the total network throughput while the maintaining the data rate requirement for the IoT data. So, so as shown in the figure at the bottom, the minimum data rate for the, the I, health IoT data is satisfied at uh, for the all the user clusters. There are some recommendations uh, considering in, in our research and the, our the proposed formulation and the, re and the algorithm uh, can, can be further the improved by the considering the backhauling methods to connect to the external, uh, external uh, infrastructure and uh, uh, due to the limited backhauling capacity in the remote, uh, remote, uh, the remote areas, the, sa satellite, the satellite backhauling can be used as the, the example. And secondly, the, the localized data is likely to be uh, processed at the local data center. So uh, mo uh, mobile edge computing, the caching can be impl implemented together to elevate, alleviate the, the network traffic load in